And welcome to your Gold Market Update Chance of the Day for today, the 6th of April 2023. Max Messing, Amnesty Gold Markets with you to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Uh, obviously, overnight was a mixed session in the US, only the Dow closing positive out of the major indices. Uh, slower economic growth appears to be the major narrative that's been discussed now that the Fed has telegraphed one additional rate rise this year. We saw weaker than expected ADP jobs data, and that was what precipitated a sell in some of the growth assets. We did see continued sector rotation into some of the stocks in the Dow, as we've been talking about the last few days. Yes, futures are below neutral in early Asian trading, only marginally so, though, and Asian indices are soft also in early trading across the board. Really, the ASX is down around about 0.25 percent at this stage it was holding on to neutral in the early part of the trading but just has drifted off as we approach the long weekend european equity futures are also pointing to a neutral open then the vix has paused after a recent drop above 20 support us dollar index bounced off two month lows so a little bit of a move to the upside uh, gold has retained 2020 but it was a very choppy session in the US overnight and all paused after that EIA data showed slightly higher than expected drawdown. It is jobs week in the US. We had the ADP numbers we've already stated yesterday. We've got weekly jobs tonight and obviously we've got monthly numbers or the non farm payrolls tomorrow night. Uh, today we've got German industrial production Canadian jobs really with that US weekly jobs number is the only data of note. Bear in mind there may be a bit of repositioning. Most equity markets are closed tomorrow across the board, although FX and commodity markets will be open for a half day in the US session. US is open on Monday, although the ASX remains shut. Uh, just a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We'll look at the four hourly chart on the GB pound. You can see this technical double top formation there. We had a strong session a couple of evenings ago but it did drop off during the u.s session continued its way downwards and now we're down towards this somewhat important 163 level uh, there could be a couple of things that happen here obviously if we breach that we could be down to test this 162 pivot or we could uh, bounce and start to move back up again I would probably put a cap around about 164 if we do get a bounce. But there could be an opportunity either way there, depending on what happens over the coming hours. We've been tracking gold stocks over the last uh, days uh, on the back of increasing gold price. And some of these are still doing OK. We can see West Gold WGX is still managing to grind its way higher after that breach of key level at 133. You can see we've got a line here that we think is interesting at uh, 162. That is quite important. Probably a price target on this if it should continue to move higher. But certainly one to watch going forward. There doesn't seem to be any reason why gold should not continue to move forward. Unless, of course, we see a very hot jobs number tomorrow night. But at this stage, gold looks as though it's still moving higher over that 2000 level comfortably. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.